Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Jim Fahad. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful text over image on hover using Elementor page builder. So here initially we can see only the images and when you hover over on it, we can see here the title and paragraph. And not only title and paragraph, if you want, you can add anything here. I will show you how to do that using Elementor page builder. So without further ado, let's now go inside Elementor page builder. To take a new section, let's first click on this plus icon and here I'm taking this three column structure. Now first I'm making its height to minimum height and let's set it 100 VH. Now first the middle column here, I want to make its background color to black color so you can see it properly. So go under the style tab, from here open the background type and I'm making the background color to black color. Now within this middle column, let's click on this plus icon because here I'm dragging an inner section and let's delete one of the inner column from inside of this inner section. Now we have only one column within this inner section. Then from here I'm making its height to minimum height. So the default 400 pixel is fine. Also I want to make its vertical alignment to middle. Then we can add some content within this inner section. So let's click on this Rubik's Cube icon. First here I'm adding a heading widget. We can say it for example photography. Let's now make its alignment to centered and go under the style tab. I'm making the text color to white color. Then underneath that we can add a text editor widget here. Also we can make its alignment to centered and let's make the text color kind of whitish color. All right, now let's do a bit of styling with the most outer column. So I'm selecting the outer column from here. Now here the first thing, I wanna remove this color because you know, we wanted to use a background image or any image. So let's first remove this color. So I'm removing it from here and then let's add a background image. I'm adding this one, click on insert media. And then, you know, we can adjust the position. So I'm making the position to center, center, repeat to no repeat and the size to cover. And then let's open the border because I want to add some border radius. Let's add 12 pixel of border radius. Also, I'm adding some box shadow from here. So the blur value would be 40 and the spread value, I'm making it negative 10. Also, you know, we can add some margin with this column. So go under advanced tab from here. I'm adding 20 pixel of margin. Now here you see we cannot read this text properly. So to make this text easy to read, we can add some background opacity with the outer column. So select the outer column, go to its style tab. And this time let's open the background opacity. Then from here, select the background type. First of all, I'm making the color to black color. And from here, I'm setting the opacity to 0.55. Now we can read this text properly, but this is not exactly the thing that we wanted to do. Here, first I want to show only the image and then when we hover over on it, we want to display all these contents like this title and paragraph. So to make it happen, let's now select this inner section, go under its advanced tab and from here open the custom CSS field. By the way, custom CSS is only available on Elementor Pro. I will put my Elementor Pro affiliate link in the description. If you purchase Elementor Pro through my affiliate link, you don't have to pay any extra, but I will get a little credit for that. That will help me to continue this YouTube channel and make more interesting tutorials like this. All right, now within this custom CSS field, I want to write some simple CSS code and to get the code, we can go to jimfahaddigital.com. I will also put this pages link in the description. From that page here under the content show or hide on hover CSS, we can simply just copy this CSS snippet, go inside Elementor and paste the CSS snippet within this field here. Now you see initially we can only see the image and when you hover over on it, we can see all the content. And now you know, I just wanna do one last simple thing. At the initial state, I wanna see this image clearly without any opacity. And when you hover over on it, only then I wanna add the opacity. And you know, we can do that very simply from inside Elementor itself. So make sure you have selected this outer column from under its style tab, open the background overlay. 
now here you see it's the normal state so on the normal state i'm making the opacity to zero and on the hover state let's make the background type to a solid color that would be of course the black color then from here opacity i'm making it 0 0.55 and the transition duration i'm making it 0 0.5 so now initially we can see the clear image and when you hover over on it we can now see all the content with the background opacity cool let's now simply duplicate the outer column so i'm duplicating it one time and let's duplicate it one more time then we can simply remove the empty column from left side also let's delete the empty column from right side now here the first one instead of photography you can say it any other thing like i wanted to say portrait and then the third one let's say it videography now you know you can change these backgrounds just select this outer column from under style tab let's change this image i'm selecting this one for portrait and let's go to the third column go under style tab from here let's change this image with this image and click on insert media now you see everything is working perfectly and you know lastly i want to check it how it's looking on mobile and tablet device so from here click on responsive mode first go to tablet device on the tablet device everything is looking great and working perfectly now let's go to the mobile device on the mobile device everything is looking great and you know on the mobile device there is no hover option so when you will tap on i mean when you will tap over any image you can see all these details or all the content all right now let's close this responsive bar from top so when you are happy with it don't forget to click on this green update button to save your work I hope you have learned something new today. If you like it, please give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also, please on that notification bell icon to get notified before anyone whenever I will upload a new video on this YouTube channel. And if you want me to help you on your WordPress project or Elementor project, then you can contact me through my website that's jimfahaddigital.com. I will try my best to help you personally. Once again, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I will see you in the next video. For now, bye-bye.